What's up guys and welcome back to Point for Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we're gonna be going ahead and doing yet another custom solo ops video. And why that is is because I sort of missed this weekend's community challenge. No worries, I was able to contribute in it, I just didn't have a time to make a proper video on it. But basically it was a community challenge, if you do not know, that was you can get vanquishes with any of the variant types, either it be electric, poison, fire, or ice, and it would contribute to the community challenge. Now luckily the community did reach all three three goals and I were I was able to open up all the chests so we'll be opening up the packs that those chests contain at the end of today's video but we're gonna be doing a custom solo ops plants video today where we're gonna go ahead and do one of each variant type once again the fire ice poison and electric so hopefully that'll be pretty good let's go ahead and get started Okay, so I figure we have to start with the Sunflower of some sort, and I have all the Mastered besides like the Metal Petal and the Mystic Flower, which are neither which, you know, variants of what we're looking for. So I figure we'll, do, we'll start with the Power Flower, I think. I think that would be a good start right there. When it comes to ability, she should have everything just normal. Um, and character upgrades, I don't think she really needs anything more than what she has. Maybe we should go ahead and instead of a zoom, we'll do a damage upgrade. That might be a little bit better. So we'll start off with the Power Flower. Now we need to find a Fire, Poison, and... Uh, frozen, and I'm not really sure who we'll pick for all of that, but I think we'll do a fire chopper for sure. Um, hmm. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. It's pretty tough to tell. I think we want to go ahead and do, like, I want to do frozen citron. Like, toxic citron is a lot of fun, but I already have him mastered. Oof. Let's do frozen. He's not bad. He's not bad. So we'll go ahead. We'll do frozen citron, and then we'll move over here, and we got, yeah, we'll do fire chopper. And then we need one poison type character, and what would that be? What would be a good choice there? I guess Toxic B would be a good choice. So there we go, four character, okay, three out of the four characters we picked aren't mastered, so that's good enough. And let's go ahead and try to find a garden. I guess right here would be fine, but would it be the best? Maybe, maybe Point C would be better. So let's go ahead and do Plant C. Um, but yeah, that's sort of my choice for what's going on here. Everybody I, I can manage is not mastered, but still fits the type of this uh, setup. But yeah, I'm sorry that I didn't miss a community challenge, but don't worry because I did contribute to the community challenge both on PS4 and PC. So hopefully that helped the community out in some sort of way to get us all the challenges done, which we did do. So I'm totally happy about that. Unfortunately, this time around, it was only a special item. So hopefully next time we can succeed at it and it will be a legendary. That would be pretty cool. Now, I don't know what difficulty we're on. We're either on normal or hard. I sort of, you know, chose a press X a little too soon and it just sort of went. So I was like, I don't know what difficulty we're playing. Hopefully not something too bad. Bad, but overall, hopefully we have a good time. I probably shouldn't be playing Sunflower too much, only when I really need to heal. But I could really level up any of these other three characters and be totally fine with it. Can I respawn right now? Let's see. No, I can't. Okay, it's a little too late for that now, isn't it? Okay, so I see you guys over here. So I'm gonna start shooting at people as soon as I can because if we can get rid of them, that'd be great. But the mixture of all the variants should really lead to a lot of good stuff because I'm really not sure how that works normally, right? Like if we have multiple toxic variants, if we have two toxic bees and one toxic bee hits the zombie, but then another toxic bee hits him, will it stack those two toxic damages? I'm pretty sure it won't. But will the same be said for fire damage, right? Like so if a fire class attacks you know, one of these zombies, and I attack him as a toxic variant, will the toxic and fire, fire damage stack as well? Like, those are some questions I've never really thought about asking, which can be pretty important for garden ops, so, or, or you know, graveyard ops, both pretty darn similar. <laughs> but I'll try to keep that in mind, but so far we're doing pretty well, so I'm gonna guess we're on normal difficulty. But of course, it's just the first round, so it's a little hard to tell. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. <laughs> Poison damage finishes you off. Of course, we can't find out too much with you because you're a frozen character. But we can definitely, you know, apply some toxic damage to them while they're frozen. And there we go, first wave complete. I don't think it was perfect. Didn't give me a perfect bonus, so I'm gonna guess it wasn't. Which sort of stinks, but you know what, we'll, we'll survive. I'm not really too worried about it. In other Garden Warfare 2 news, they did change the event calendar since the last time I talked about it. You know, before it was two cats versus dinos in a row, they have changed it back to just being one cats versus dino. So the next upcoming um, event we have this Thursday will be a normal super mix mode. Who knows what that super mix mode will be? Will that one be the super lana or get off my lana thon too? Or will it be a different one? We'll have to find out, but we're gonna find out this Thursday, and then the Thursday after that is our Cats versus Dinos, then the Thursday after that is another Super Mix mode, and then after that we have a Boss Hunt. So that's how the uh, things are working out as of right now. 
So hopefully that continues that way because a, a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people were upset about two cats versus dinos in a row. So I'm glad they changed it, either it be a typo or if it was actually what they meant to do and they just sort of changed it because of the amount of backlash. I hope it's the former rather than the later ladder because I wouldn't want them to actually intend to do two cats versus dinos in a row and only change it because people were mad. Like I would hope they wouldn't have that idea in the first place, you know? But it's sort of not for us to say because we don't know. So where is this? Oh, they're over here. Well, we're definitely not getting a perfect wave this time either. <laughs> That's okay. I haven't played uh, Garden Ops in a little while, or Graveyard Ops, or Solo Ops in general. So it is refreshing to do, but also means it's going to be awful on it. But we're already on wave three. Maybe I should set up around here somewhere. But of course, this won't be contributing to the challenge. I just figured I had to do something to resemble the challenge just because I missed making a video on it. But it's still fun. I always enjoy doing these kind of challenges in Solo Ops. They're always fun to do. You know, gives me a little extra chance to get some um, super boss wave shown off that I've never had the chance to show off because I never get those stinking things. Oh my god, get damaging these guys a little bit. Tiny more, tiny bit more, come on. Ooh, no, I'm missing like crazy. I really should just go out there. Oh no, we're supposed to be going through checkpoints. Okay, well you guys deal with that. I'll go through the checkpoints, I guess. Oh, hello zombies. Oh, well, this is easy. All right, get that. I wish they had more of these checkpoint things in the game. I know they have them for, of course, the hover goat, uh, not the hover goat, but the uh, the burger goat and the pizza chomper, but it'd be cool to see them with variants as well. I mean, we had that once. I know we had it for like the frozen yogurt ad deal that happened at the very beginning of the game that was really weird, but <laughs> beyond that, we haven't actually had too many in-game promos like we had in Garden War for one. And that's sort of the weird thing. How many of you guys are opposed or, you know, fine with that kind of stuff? Because I've never really heard too many opinions on it. Do you think it's weird that in Garden Warfare 1, sometimes Cheetos would sponsor Garden Warfare, and then, you know, you had to get Cheetos to get some of those characters, at least for a little while until they became free? What were your thoughts on that? Did you think that was sort of bogus? Did you think that was actually pretty cool? And what are your thoughts on the fact that it isn't like that in Garden Warfare 2? Like, would you actually like to see that? Would you like to see like a Mountain Dew cactus at some point or something ridiculous like that? I mean, honestly, I'm a little 50-50 on it. I think it's cheesy, you know, <laughs> pun intended with the Cheetos thing, but also it's, it's sort of like, I would rather them, you know, make something because they think it's cool and not because it's gonna make them an extra buck. And that's sort of where it's weird. I know at the same time, it's like that's not really up to PopCap. That's probably up to the publishers who are gonna tell them what to do anyways. So it's not really up to them either or. But as long as, oh look at that new rank play, 34, awesome. But as long as the game itself is still like cool and fun, like that's sort of the thing with God of War for one. Like we got free variants out of it that were nice and fun. Jeez, that's a lot of anguishes right there. And we also didn't have to worry about it being sort of annoying or stale. Like they weren't ever just like, I guess they weren't bad brand deals where it's like, oh, if you pay, you know, $50 worth of Cheetos, you're gonna get the best class in the game, you know? It was just, hey, you could just get a $2 bag of Cheetos and get this class early, and if not, wait a month and everybody will have it. So it's just like, cool. And like that, I don't mind too much. I'm not gonna complain about that. I know some people probably will, but I mean, everybody's, you know, has their own opinion and they're allowed to have them and they shall be respected. But is that all the zombies? It doesn't look like it is. There's a newspaper zombie over yonder. You guys get him? I guess I did. I need to like chill out near the chomper for a bit and see when he attacks people, if I hit him with the toxic damage, will it stack? I mean, we'll have to attack like a pretty meaty enemy, like maybe some newspaper zombies. So let's go ahead and wait for him to do that. So he's throwing down the fire damage. Oh, you know what? It's hard to tell because I can't see the amount of damage he's doing. So I guess I really can't find out for sure at this moment. I'm sure if you were to play two player, you could find out quite, quite a lot. So if anybody has the answer to that question, I'm really curious now. Because like, I can't imagine that if two toxic characters attack you, you get double toxic damaged. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way. But if a toxic variant and a fire variant attacks you, I could imagine that both of those effects would be like acting. So we would have to see. Ooh, okay, this isn't too bad of a wave because I have some coins and then we just have one boss to deal with, which isn't too bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and Probably just get something simple. I don't wanna to waste too many plant pots just because I don't have too many of them right now to really throw out there, but we should be fine. So I see you over here. We'll start throwing whatever pain we can over to this guy. Oh boy, oh boy. Chili beat, there we go. That should land near him, right? Or did I throw it too far? I don't even know where it went. It, it got like 60 or 70 damage on him. Here we go. Ooh, this is, okay, that was working out pretty well before, you know, 
I got pushed away, but so far we're all able to handle it. It's not that bad of a wave though, so I shouldn't be too surprised. I can see there's definitely some fire around him there, but that was before I had the chance to attack him, so who knows if it really worked out any more or less than that. I'm trying to get you. Yeah, I'm still a little, you know, curious about how this month is going to turn out when it comes to most things. Like, I still don't know if we're gonna end up having like a new boss hunt at the end of this month, so I'm just sort of like, still a little concerned on how this month's gonna turn out. But, like I've said before, it's almost June 10th, and that's EA's um, press conference for E3, which is super exciting. I'm probably gonna work on a new video soon, talking about if there was, you know, hypothetically, a Garden Warfare 3 announced this weekend. Is it this weekend? Here, let me check that really quick. When is June 10th? June 10th is Saturday, which is really exciting. I'm pretty sure it's June 10th, but not 11th. So Saturday or Sunday. Um, if Garden Warfare 3 is announced this weekend, then I'm probably gonna make a video sometime this week saying hypothetically if that happens, what would I wanna see in a Garden Warfare 3? Now in the past I've already made one video speculating if Garden Warfare 3 even has a possibility to be made, you know, it's just called, is Garden Warfare 3 coming soon? Um, and like maybe? <laughs> we'll have to see. It's really up in arms right now. So we really don't know until it happens, so we'll have to wait. I think. Whatever happens this weekend will be a huge commentary on the future of PvZ, for sure. No matter what, if there is news or if there isn't, the fact that there isn't any news is just as like concerning as having news would be exciting, you know? Because they've always announced PvZ-related things during E3, at least for the console-related stuff, you know? All the Garden Warfare games have always been announced during E3. So it's like, if they don't announce it during E3, does that mean they're not planning on making anything? Have they not had anything made? Do we have to wait until next year? You know, there'll be a whole bunch of, you know, really concerning questions being thrown out there. So we'll have to see. But for now, I'll probably be starting to work on that sometime soon, where we go ahead and talk about, you know, what I would want to see in a Garden Warfare 3 if it does come out, because that just sounds like a lot of fun to talk about, because I have a lot of ideas at this point. Because originally I was going to make a video you know, talking about what I want to see added to Garden Warfare 2 in 2017. But by the time I was like halfway through working on the video, they already had confirmed that, you know, they weren't going to add any more major DLCs to the game. So I didn't want to do that if, you know, already half of my speculation could be just dismissed by their confirmation. So I said, how about we wait until E3 this year and see what they announce, if they announce anything? So I think right now, or at least right before, as the hype is becoming imminent, I'm gonna probably be talking about, you know, if there's gonna be a Garden of Warfare 3, if there is, what are my thoughts on it, like, like what am I excited to see if there is anything. So we'll talk about that soon, hopefully later this week, if things aren't crazy busy. Cause I know I've gone a couple, I think, unfortunately I've gone like four days without uploading and that's like the longest time I've ever gone without uploading in like the last like three or four years now, like geez. So I feel awful about that, but I've recorded like five videos tonight, which is long, the most I've recorded in one day in like a month because I've just been feeling so tired and sick. But um, yeah, I'm changing it. Things are going for the better. But we're at wave seven already. We are charging through this. Sometimes it's just nice to turn on an easy difficulty of garden ops and just sort of like no brain it, right? Like I'm not really trying super hard. I'm not thinking about it a ton. I'm just sort of playing and that is just nice and relaxing. Oh, okay, I got one. I was hoping it was gonna get like a couple, but one's better than none for sure. Let's get you. Gotcha, good, good, good. And we're almost done with this wave. Got a screen door zombie here, an engineer there. And we'll be all finished up. There's that guy. And who else are we waiting for? Uh, there's you over here, okay. Not a problem. Look at all the damage we're throwing down on that guy. Pretty good. And I'm glad I'm getting some Toxic P uh, experience in here. That's always nice and helpful. And we've gotten two more levels for, for him since then. But who else can we play? I should probably play some Fire Chomp. Anytime I can get some fire chopper experience, that's always good, or any kind of chopper experience, I desperately need it. We're already starting to tackle wave eight, which is great. Smash them open, vases scare me. Now we should probably be playing as a pea shooter though, because, oh boy, will that land? No, I totally messed that up. So I'm just gonna dig, and we're gonna make our way over to that vase, vase? I've never really known what to call them. What do you call them? Vases or vases? I think it depends on sort of like where you grow up, like the area you live in. Ooh, that's actually quite nice. There we go. I mean, it doesn't matter if we destroy what's inside the vase, the vases. I can't I can't do it now. All that matters is that we go ahead, oh, I missed it again, I'm awful, is that we go ahead and destroy the vase itself. I mean, I love the mini game version of this in the original PvZ game. I wanna play more of that now. Just thinking about it makes me in the mood to play it. Let's make our way up here. 
and see what we can destroy. We got these three here, and is that it? Uh, I guess it is, awesome. Oh my, give, me, give me those coins, give me those coins. There we go, bonus objective complete. That was actually really easy. I love those kind of specialty waves because the wave itself is super easy just because they expect you to focus on that mini objective and that's always fun. Okay, so wave nine's coming up. That was a really quick wave. Like, I'm hoping this video isn't just like, you know, 15 minutes long, but you never know, whatever works. All right, so I heard a mech fall. I, I see an imp here. Is this gonna be like a mostly imp wave? It probably is. I wasn't paying attention to whatever the stipulation was, but we'll just go ahead and, ahead and try to beat up whoever we can. Excuse me, sir. What are you trying to do here? Let's get rid of you. There are plenty of imps up here. I love how quickly the chomp cannon reloads, because I can just smack you, one shot you, dig down. Oh geez, there's imps everywhere. But not enough to handle me. Unfortunately, it's just I wish sometimes that this was the same amount of experience you would get online, but I, I understand why it's not, because that would be way too much experience. I mean, it goes back to that double experience. You know how happy I would be if there was a double XP weekend? Oh my gosh, I would just like play nonstop for a weekend, and that would be so helpful. All right, perfect wave. Because even like the experience fish, right? Like, if I have time to experience and there's a double experience weekend, what happened? You've been disconnected? No, come on! We were doing fine! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, so I opened up one of the packs and then it disconnected me again. It's just constantly disconnecting me over and over again. Luckily, we just opened up the 25,000 coin pack, so there's 25,000 coins for us. Let's also open up the red community pack, which we get in here. The zombies this way, which actually isn't too bad. I think that's our special hat. Looks pretty cool. Maybe we'll take an extra look at that in a moment. And then in here we got ourselves nothing too crazy, but we get some things. We get the silver blinky Xing or crossing, gold catfish crown, idea generator, that's a brand new item, exploity bot, gold salty sailor, diamond baseball clap, and the self revive. Okay then, not too bad. I'm not gonna complain about any of that. Some cool items there and of course free coins, which is what I always want. So we'll go ahead and check out that special chomper hat. And you can always let me know what about, you know, like what cool special item you guys got. Sorry for the disconnecting, but like I said, I've been trying several times today and I just keep getting disconnected over and over again. So maybe it's just a bad day, but we're gonna go ahead and try to check out this hat. Here, let me go ahead and do this. And then I'm guessing it's gonna be down here, right? Yep, here it is, zombies this way. Oh, I get it. It's supposed to be pointing into his mouth. That way they go in there looking for brains and then he eats them. What do you know, that's a cool hat. It's not quite a legendary, but it has like that special animation to it and that's why it's special. All right then, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Variety Zebra so I know you've watched in the video and you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.